Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the Reductus Saboteur from the Shadow Throne box. This is the new Gene Stealer Cults character designed to really, well, make a bang. <laughs> We're going to be painting her in the same colour as her product photography. I believe this is Cult of the Four-Armed Emperor. And, well, she's been primed in grey seer. I believe it's a she. I definitely went with a more female-looking head on the build. There are two options in the kit. So, as I say, it's been primed in grey seer, and the place we're going to start is on all of the clothes. Now, the colour we're going to be making is a roughly three-part Space Wolves grey to one-part Ultramarines blue. And this is going to give us that perfect sort of palish blue that we've got on the box art. And we just want to get this all over the clothes. Now this is the legs, or trousers I should say, and just a little bit of the undershirt that you can see under this arm just there. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some black Templar. I'm going to paint this over all of our black details. Now, this is mostly going to include areas such as all of that black ribbed armour. Like this. We do have the little claws on the mutated hand as well, as well as the fingernails up here, and we want to do this on as well. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the leather. There is rather a lot of leather on the Reductus Saboteur. So we've got all the kind of strap, we've got the strap right there, which does come over here. We've got the backpack, we've got the various little areas on the body. So like just down here, for example. So next up, what we're going to do is going to work on all the grey details. Now this is going to be this kind of area around here, the armour. It's also going to be the little controller for the detonator and the casing of the plunger just there. Now the colour we're making is a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part basilicanum grey and we're just going to get this all over these areas just like this. It's quite a pale grey this armour or this colour I should say. Look at that little bit just there as well. Don't forget about that. And then as I said, I'm also doing the detonator and the plunger. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to use this to 
to paint in the cloak. So with that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the sort of tyranny bits. <laughs> and the colour we're going to be using first is Ultramarine's Blue. Now what we want to do is we just want to paint this all over the top of the blue carapace. This is just all this section like here. I'm going to try where possible to avoid the kind of softer bits such as the hands and the joints. Just like this. So with that done, we're then going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and levard and blue. I'm going to paint this over the top. Of our tyranid carapacey thing. It's getting carapace. It's just tyranid carapace. <laughs> just like that, just to make it nice and dark. So with that done, what we're now going to do is going to create a roughly three parts apothecary white to one part Magos purple mix. And this is going to be for all the kind of still sort of human skin, not for the Tyranidi hand. As I said, we're just going on the head and the opposite arm. And so whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take a one-to-one -one mix of Magos Purple and Apothecary White. I'm going to paint this over the Tyranidy skin. So with that done, I think I'm just going to very quickly take a little bit of Nasdrag yellow. I'm going to paint this along this little cable just here, like that. And we're also going to paint this around this kind of section of the plunger. And with that done, we're then going to take some wildwood. I'm going to use this to paint in the deck cord. And so with that deck cord colored in, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to use this to paint in what is essentially all of the remaining details. Now we've got the mine just here that we're going to be coloring in. We've got all of the little kind of mechanical aerials and the pistol handle behind. 
our reductor saboteurs left tip. You can see it just in there, like that. We've got the grenade. We've got the little chain just there on the cult icon. Cult icon we're gonna leave. But ultimately, the best thing to do is to check out the product photography on the Games Workshop website, just to see where to place all of this. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Balthazar gold. We're gonna use this to paint in the little cult icon just down here. Like so. And we're also gonna use this to paint in the wire. So with that done, it's now time to add some shades to the model. And well, the first one we're gonna use is a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part black Templar. And this is gonna be over the top of all of our metallics. Including the Balthazar gold and the silver. And so with that done, we're then gonna take a little bit of skeleton horde. I'm gonna use this to build up a little bit of dirt in the armor. Because every time I look at them, there's just a slight brown edging in amongst that gray. So we just wanna add a little bit of this skeleton horde. Like that. I'm just gonna add a little bit in here and in there as well. Just like this. And with that done, we're then gonna make a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part wildwood mix. And we're gonna use this over the top of the outside of the red cloak. And, and we're also gonna do it over the inside. I don't know why I just said, just over the outside. <laughs> I want this to be sort of a reasonably dirty red as it were. So with that done, the Reductus Saboteur is now at what I would call pretty much a war hipster battle ready. So what we're gonna do is gonna put her to one side just for the moment. And we're gonna paint the demo pack. And then we'll do all of the highlights at the same time because Many of the colors that are on here are the same as they are over there. So the next color we're gonna be using, or well, the first color we're gonna be using, I should say, is Wildwood. This is gonna be on the, what I think are plastic explosives, just here. Like this. So with that done, we're then going to take some black Templar and apply this over the straps. We did just apply that wildwood over the deck cords for the dynamite as well. Much like we did on the saboteur herself. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. We're going to use this to paint in the dynamite. Yeah. 
And with that done, we're then going to take some Iron Warriors and use this to paint in our remaining details on the demo packs. And with that done, we are then going to use that two to one mix of contrast, medium and black templar to give all of that silver a shade. So with that done, our Reductor Saboteur and the demo pack are now, what I would call a war hipster battle ready and they look pretty good. However, we're not going to leave them there. We are going to take them to the next level. So we're going to put this to one side now because, well, everything that we do on the Reductor Saboteur, we're going to duplicate on here now. So we don't need to focus on the demo pack for now. We're just going to focus on the Reductor Saboteur. When I say we're going to highlight the black, we're going to do the black over there. Same for the Wildwood over there, for example. So the color we're going to start with is Black Templar. And we're going to be using this on our Reductor Saboteur's eyes. So with that Black Templar applied, we're then going to take a tiny dot of Yeriel Yellow. I'm going to add this in each corner of the eyeballs. Just like that. So with those eyes done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thins down pallid witch flesh and we're going to use this to highlight all of the skin. So for example, just here on the face, I'm just going to add this pallid witch flesh like this to those sharp details on the nose, on the brow, like that. Same down here on the knuckles. like so. What we're also going to do is we're going to use this pallid witch flesh to highlight the grey armour. So with that pallid witch flesh applied to the plunger, the skin, the detonator and the armor and well <laughs> I already said skin what we're gonna do now is gonna move on I'm gonna take some thins down evil sun's scarlet I'm gonna use this to highlight the red robe and all of our other red details looking for quite a clean highlight here Just take your time. So with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied to all of those red details, what we're now gonna do is just gonna very quickly take a little bit of Cadian Flesh Stone. I'm gonna add this as our little spot highlight. just on the sharpest corners of our red details like that. It's very, very subtle. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down Administratum Gray. I'm gonna use this as our little spot highlight for all of our black details. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, Mr. War Hipster. Spot highlight, you're not going to do one before. No, no, we're not. Because the Black Templar has done loads of work for us already. So, really, what we need to do here is just pick out those sharpest little corners with the Administratum Grey, 
particularly on areas like the armor. Just like I've done there. So with that administratum gray applied, all of those details are now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna very quickly take some Alatoc blue. I'm gonna use this to highlight our blue carapacey bits. With that LATOC blue applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Fenrisian grey. I'm going to add this as our little spot highlight to all of our carapace details. So just picking out those sharp little corners. Like that. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use this to highlight the trousers and the undershirt as well. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron hand steel. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. And this is going to take probably the longest part. Of the model. So with that done, what we're then going to do is going to just very quickly, as I forgot to do it, take some scrag brown. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our leather details. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is going to take some Carax stone. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our wildwood details. So this is like the deck cord. The plastic explosive. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some canoptic alloy. I'm going to use this to highlight our goldy bit. Just like that. So with that done, our Reductus Saboteur should be looking somewhat like this. She's looking pretty good, but we've just got two things left to do. One is the hazard striping on our yellow details, and the other is all of our gems and screens. Well, lenses, buttons, and screens. There aren't any gems. They don't deserve gems, despite being miners. So, <laughs> We're going to do the hazard striping first, and the colour we're going to be using for this is Black Templar. Now, as I said, we are going to be doing this on our yellow details. So, for example, on this little cord just here, we just want to draw these little diagonal lines going across. At sort of even intervals. Like that. Similarly, on this yellow bit here, I'm just going to draw some diagonal lines. Here's the Black Templar. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to very quickly take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to use this to paint in all the buttons. And 
Remember that flash tab is red applied to all those buttons. We then take some Dark Angels green. We're going to apply this to all of the screens. So we've got one here on the mine. One here on the plunger. And we've got one, and oh, we've got two on the demo pack. So with that done, we're then going to take some Auric Flash. I'm going to use this to highlight those little green screens. And with that done, we then use a teeny dot of Luganath Orange to add a little highlight to all of our red buttons. So with that done, our Reductus Saboteur is now finished. I did actually draw a little countdown timer in this screen on the bomb, because well, it's the only one that's actually set. Uh, the rest of them are just needing a little highlight. But all that's left to do is to do the bases. Now, of course, I always recommend that you do this in the same style as the rest of your army. So just make sure you get those bases done and then we'll come back for the final roundup. And there we have it. Our Reductor Saboteur is now finished. It was awesome to do this model because we started the channel with Neophyte Hybrids in the Cult of the Four-Armed Emperor scheme. So it was wonderful to return and have a go at updating the scheme and using a few more tips and tricks that we picked up along the way and I think it's very, very effective. The model looks fantastic, it's really characterful, it's really cool, and well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.